Oh, I love this football-y time of the year. Especially when everything is running so happy and smooth, like it is for the NFL this week. Nothing like that Browns-Steelers Thursday night debacle. Ooh, I don't know what we would have done without Rudolph acting like the ass he was. Anyway, R Rudolph, could it be that some of you are not acquainted with the story of the Pittsburgh Steelers backup QB, Mason Rudolph? Well, pull a beer from the Victory Fridge and lend an ear. You know Bradshaw and Lampert, Mel Blunt and Mean Joe, Woodson and Jack Ham, Heinz Ward and Franco. But do you recall the biggest douchebag of all? Rudolph the Steelers QB had a cocky attitude. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it's rude. All of the other players knew he couldn't play the game. He liked to play real dirty and never would take the blame. Then one Thursday football night, he dropped back to pass. He barely threw the football when Miles Garrett sacked his ass. Then he got really upset, yanking at Miles' head. Said some nasty mean stuff Something he would later dread Miles returned the gesture Swinging Rudolph's helmet violently But Rudolph got no suspension Garrett's is indefinitely